Hello, this is Mr. Henry. Welcome to lesson 1.6, Perimeter and Area. So, today's essential question is, how do I use formulas to find perimeter and area? First, we need to figure out what is perimeter and area. Well, vocabulary, we have our definitions here. The perimeter is the sum of the lengths of the sides. Basically, what that means is it's the distance around the outside of a figure. For example, if we had a rectangle, we'd add up all of the sides. This side plus that side plus this side plus that side. That would be the perimeter, the distance around the outside. Area, on the other hand, says it's the number of square units needed to fill the inside of a figure. Basically, it's the space inside. If we're talking about the same rectangle, it's how much space is inside this rectangle. Okay, so let's see about finding perimeter and area. So, first, well, we need a formula. So, perimeter. Let's give a rectangle here. We'll say this is 6 by 9. So the perimeter, using the formula, is going to be 2L plus 2W. Two, two widths, two of these, because these sides are the same, plus two lengths, or two lengths plus two widths. Okay, let's see how that formula works in an actual problem. So, here we have a shape. Its length is six, and its width is seven. Now the formula, two lengths plus two widths, means we're going to take two times the length of six plus two times the width, which is seven. Now if you remember back the order of operations, we have to multiply and divide before we add or subtract. So we have to take two times six, twelve, plus two times seven, which is fourteen, multiply before you add. 14 plus 12 gives us an answer of 26. So our perimeter of this rectangle would be 26 inches. Not so bad. Let's see a second example. Example B. The length will be 12 and the width will be 5. So again, we need our formula. Perimeter equals two lengths plus two widths. So two times the length, which is 12, plus two times the width, which is five. Multiply before you add. Two times 12 is 24, plus two times five, which is 10. 24 plus 10 gives us a perimeter of 34, and we'll call this one inches as well. So how is perimeter different from area? Well, perimeter again is the distance around the outside. This is the formula we used for perimeter. Area, on the other hand, if we would use the same rectangle, 9 and 6, area is how much space is inside this figure. And the formula for this is the length times the width. In this problem, it would be 9 times 6, length times width. 9 times 6 would give us an area, an area of 72. Okay, But let's see this in an example. Example here says, finding area, length is 4, width is 9. So, first thing I always do is write down the formula. Area equals length times width. So our length is 4 times our width, which is 9. Area, length, times width. 4 times 9 is 36 feet squared. Now, the unit is squared because you're taking feet times feet. Feet times feet is feet squared.
All right, I would like you to try one. So here in example B, the length will be 8, and the width will be 2, and we'll call these inches. So hit, plot, hit pause and try this problem. See if you can find the area. When you're ready to continue, hit play. Okay, hopefully you have time to try the problem here. So let's see. Area is the length times the width. The length is 8, and the width is 2. Now we're just substituting. Length is 8, width is 2. Multiply. 8 times 2 is, um, well, let's see, 16 inches. And remember, it's inches squared because we're taking inches times inches. It's inches squared. So our area is 16 inches squared. So, this has been lesson 1.6, perimeter and area. We've used our formulas. Perimeter is 2 lengths plus 2 widths, and area is the length times the width. Hope to see you later. Bye-bye.